What's up Hoopers, this is Coach Alex from Think Pro Basketball and in today's video, I hear the ice cream truck. Let's go get some ice cream. What's up my man? Wow, I'm on camera. Can I get a, one of those strawberry shortcakes? Yeah. Thank you. Thank you, Pro Basketball. All right guys, well I'm back from my ice cream snack. And in today's video, we're now going to get in unstoppable one-on-one -on -one basketball moves that you can use in your game. Let's get started. All right guys, like I said in today's video, we're gonna go over one-on-one -on -one moves that you can use in a real game, or it could be in a one-on-one -on -one situation where you're out here at the park, in the gym, playing one-on-one -on -one with your best friend, teammate, whoever it may be. We're gonna go over three different moves in today's video that's gonna give you a variety of options to use when trying to beat a defender in one-on-one. -on -one. The first one we're going to do is a full spin fadeaway jumper, okay? And what I mean by that is when you attack your defender using whatever dribble moves you have to use, now when you go into attack mode to either try to get to the basket or get to your jumper, you're starting to put your head down and now the defender's gonna try to cut you off, beat you to one spot on the court, and that's when we hit that spot. We're gonna spin away from them and we're going right into our fadeaway shot. All right, so again, I set my defender up, use a dribble move. <clears throat> now I'm ready to attack them. And then when I see them cut me off, I wanna plant that inside foot. So the ball's in my left hand, it's gonna plant with that right. I'm gonna spin away and go right into my jump shot. All right, so we have to make sure that that foot, that footwork is important when we plant that foot. Now we're gonna spin away. We're not gonna spin and get by them. We're going to spin to try to create space. So when I spin, I spin away, fade away, jumper, bucket, okay? So again, this is the first move of only three. Here it is in full speed. All right, Hoopers, we're moving on to move number two. So what we just did was a full spin fadeaway jumper. Now we're gonna give another variety of that. We're gonna go with a half spin fadeaway jumper. All right, so it's the same type of thing. We gotta be able to break down our defender out here on the perimeter, boom, with whatever move. Now when we attack, it's the same type of footwork. We get here, that inside foot, right, is gonna be that one where we, last time when we spun that way. Same thing, so when I get in here, I gotta plant that. Now I'm gonna fake this way. So I wanna get that, my defender to jump out to this direction here. So I gotta sell that spin, but I'm faking it because I'm coming back this way. So I plant, boom, I fake the spin. I'm coming back here, fade away jump shot just to give me enough room and space to get the shot off. So again, break your defender down, attack, boom. Get in here, plant that inside foot, fake, sell. If you have to, show the ball so they think you're going that direction. Come back, fade away right in the middle buckets. Let's have a look in full speed. All right, Hoopers, in this last move, what we're going to work on is a drop crossover to be able to break down our defender off of the dribble. All right, so if this move, if I'm attacking with my left hand here, I'm going to drop the ball over to the right hand, jab step, push by my defender to get to the hoop. So if there's a, an instance where if you are playing one-on-one -on -one only in the half court, you have a lot of room on the floor. If you're in transition in the five-on-five -five game and you have a one-on-one -on -one opportunity against your defender, you wanna use as much space on the floor as you can. All right, so again, I got the ball in my left hand. I'm attacking. I drop the ball over on the cross. I jab with that left foot and I blow by my defender. So it's a quick move. We're trying to get by our defender as quick as possible to create an advantage to get to the basketball or to get the basketball to the hoop to score. All right, so again, I'm attacking. Drop, boom, change speed, change direction, get by and score. Great move to use in a one-on-one -on -one situation, keeps the defender off balance and opens up an opportunity for you to score the basketball. 
All right, so this is move number three. Check it out in full speed. All right, Hoopers, well, that's it for today's video. Three moves that you can use in a one-on-one -on -one situation, whether it be in a half court against a best friend or a real game situation. Make sure you practice all three. After you do that, make sure you click the like button and let us know which was your favorite by leaving a comment as well. After that, hit the subscribe button so you can join Think Pro Basketball, where we release brand new content every single week designed to help you improve your game. So get out there, hit the gym, hit the court, get to the park, but work on the three moves that you've seen today in order to give you more opportunities to score the basketball in one-on-one -on -one situations. And until I see you again next time, remember to always keep hooping.